Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Monday, Magical Monday, a new week, a brand new start and the message coming through today intuitively is just let go. What is letting go? The power of letting go. It means we trust the universe, we give it to heaven, we breathe, we are operating in the energy of the now and in the now we are safe and all is well. Because the universe is taking care in every moment of everything we need. We stress out when we go over the past, when we rehash it, we wish it was different and think maybe we've done something wrong. So we bring in blame and guilt. And that's a past energy. It's gone. It can't be changed. It can only be accepted. And it's the same when we're operating in the future. It's good to plan and project and really visualize the future and think of our intentions. But when we go into fear over it, when are things going to happen? Are things going to happen? And we start worrying about the way it could happen. We are in a false energy and that's fear. That's false experiences appearing real. So our mind is creating something that may not happen with what if scenarios and struggle that brings in pain. When we come back into the now, we are safe. And that's what true letting go is. Letting go is a form of surrender. So when people say to you, let go, divine feminine, let go of your masculine, let go of the struggle, it doesn't mean you move on. It means you, means you let go of all the pain, you know, and that's what becomes your main priority. And that's what they're showing me. So today it's about letting go and you may see waterfalls today. They're showing me this gorgeous waterfall because when we let go and we allow things to flow in our life, the doors open and that's the message. It says, I open new doors of opportunity and abundance each day and they give me a block in the throat <clears throat> and this is connected with communication. So to open the doors of communication, which I really feel are coming in now, especially as we move forward, let go, breathe and know it's occurring, just know it's coming and I know you can feel that, I know you're receiving the signs, you're receiving all the messages through the readings but most importantly it's what you feel, you feel like something's coming, you feel like your masculine is coming home, you feel like things are shifting and that's bringing in power and it's bringing in strength. So today, let go, breathe, be in the now, focus on gratitude, working on the self, feeling good about the self, saying to the universe, what would you have me do today? So you focus on your goals and your dreams and your priorities, things you can control. And we learn on this journey to surrender control, to let go of control. That's why we find it very hard to stop messaging our twin to let them take the lead because that's something the masculine is teaching the divine feminine and divine feminine you're teaching your masculine to reach out to you they may want you to contact them because it's easier but they need to take control and you may want to contact them because it feels safer but you've been guided to let go of control work on you if you feel something's missing in your connection right now give it back to yourself and then giving that love and power and energy to yourself is going to open all the doors. I open new doors of opportunity and abundance each day. And you do. And right now the doors are unlocking to your dreams. And they show me this gorgeous kind of pink sky. And even though this is blossom or, you know, something on the trees, I'm seeing this as love, pink energy connected with romance and seeing things through the eyes of love and power. And that's why the water is green, because it's very healing, very cleansing. So there may be some tears around today, some cleansing energy. I do feel there is issues with the eye today, and I'm going to be talking about this in the Daily Twin Flame reading. So if you feel like your eyes are puffy or runny, or you're crying a little bit today, or maybe you're looking at the sky and, you know, the brightness is making your eyes stream, it's because you're cleansing things out. You know, when we release emotion, we are cleansing so today the angels are saying to you, and they give me that block, <clears throat> you know, to release this block in communication, to open the doors, focus on love and light. So what I want to do, <clears throat> and you see they give me this block. So again, if you're still 
experiencing cold or flu-like symptoms or a cough or a block in the throat, it's because the throat chakra has been healed and activated to bring things forward, to open that door of communication. So you can talk to each other after a long period of separation, or you can open up to each other. Even if you're in communication now and it's very flirty or, you know, it's just friendly or it's day by day, this is so the masculines can open up and speak their truth and the way can be made and things can be cleared. So that's what's happening as we move forward towards a new week. So I want to bring in the love and light oracle today to bring in a message. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know today or to be focused on today as we move forward? There it is. Wow. So the message is be the powerful presence of peace. What a beautiful message because that really is about being in the now. In the now we are safe. That's where the power is. It says, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. So your creator, the universe, the higher power, God, Jesus, Mother Earth, you know, Father Sky, whoever you are connecting with, and that's okay. That's your belief. That's your decision. You know, don't let anyone tell you differently. You know who you talk to up there. Your creator is saying to you, I care about you. So give me your worries. Give me your cares. Let me take that burden away. And a lot of the time we're overthinking things and we're bringing in irrational thoughts. So we're carrying around burdens that we don't need. And that beautiful unicorn is very healing. And again, there's all this cleansing energy around today and this kind of magical energy. And the angels are saying to you, give your worries to God. Give your cares to us. Let us take that burden away. Let us lighten the load. And that's a lot like the ten of ones in the tarot where we're carrying around burden. And when we talk about it or we pray or we take a moment to breathe, that load gets lighter. It gets halved because we're giving it to God. So the message today is pray. Be the powerful presence of peace by letting go of drama, insecurity, doubt, fear and replacing it with faith, with hope, with love, with that positive mindset. Give all your worries to God. Pray. And there we go. You know, we've got that ambulance going past there because you've been reminded that when you are in stress energy, you're putting pressure and strain on the physical self. So we can feel ill. So again, if you're going through any physical symptoms, ascension symptoms, things you're worrying about in the physical self, and we all go through that, give it to God. Ask for help and it will be given. And when we ask and we believe, we receive. So it's good to talk to God and the angels about your problems, but also to ask for help and support. And you'll be shown signs. You know, if you're worrying about your body and you're thinking, is this ascension? Do I need to go and see someone about this? Ask the angels for signs and they will show you. You'll see a very clear sign, whether it's on YouTube or in a reading or on a show you're watching or, you know, on a billboard or on a T-shirt. You're going to receive a sign that shows you what to do, what the answer is, because you're asking. And when we ask, we receive. What would you have me do, universe? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? Let me know what this is happening in me, what this is, what I'm going through. Show me, guide me, lead me. Let me see, let me understand, let me take notice. Pay attention and the signs will show you what's going on. So today you're going to see waterfalls, <clears throat> things that show you the doors of communication are being opened the more you let go, the more you are operating in the here and now bringing in that powerful presence of peace that makes you feel safe. And I know I'm constantly saying to you, you are safe, but you are. And when you're operating in the now, you know that. And that's one of the most powerful affirmations you can use. I am safe. I am safe. So whether you're going through ascension, struggle in the body, something emotional, you're blocked from your twin or you're not communicating or you're in pain over something, Use the affirmation, I am safe, and you'll feel it because you'll know because of the power of heaven and the presence of the angels that you are cared about and you are loved and you are supported and you are not alone. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.